feelings and nervous and really dusty. Wait for somebody. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Vlogtober day six and today we are setting up my, wait it's blurry, I look oily, I had a long day today, I didn't even vlog earlier so you guys are catching the end. Right now we're currently about to change some setups in my room. goodness y'all had to take my glasses off today's monday monday september no september oh girl monday october 7th y'all y'all i can't believe that we are on vlogtober y'all why do i keep trying to say vlogmas let me turn this light on a little bit um it is vlogtober day six six yep six we still on six um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the Vlogtobers. Like, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely challenged me to continue posting and editing and filming. So getting in the groove of filming every single day. I love that. I love that. Um, but today is a pretty chill day. I gotta work. I got some content to film. And I also have to get my pancake video out if you don't know i'm really big on like motivating people and one of the ways that i've been able to do that on social media is by filming pancake videos with different quotes different sayings and i post those every monday so if you're looking for something motivational definitely head to my instagram and go ahead to subscribe like and hit the bell notification so that whenever i do post a video you are the very first to see it y'all i love y'all okay and happy Monday. Right now, my camera is saying that my battery is at zero percent, so it's about to hang up. Let me go ahead and change the battery and I'll be back. I don't really feel like crying right now, so I'm just gonna just let y'all know that God is amazing. That man always got my back. That man got my back, you know, always and forever. And make sure you guys read your word today because. I have to get into mine today. I have some stuff that I want to tell y'all, but on my little break, I'm gonna call y'all. I mean, I'm gonna call y'all. I'm gonna call y'all. <laughs> I do want y'all to meditate on Isaiah 40, 31. And also make sure to talk about the three things you're believing God for this week as it is a new week. Yeah, I know for me, the three things that I'm believing God for this week is his voice to hear him this week a hand of protection and guidance so those are the three things that i'm believing god for this week that he will do i mean he always speaks to me but sometimes you know it might feel like he doesn't so those are the three things and then i'll get back with y'all all right y'all i'm back after a long day at least it felt kind of long um i look a little oily but anyways i left y'all off with the verse and i wanted to Go ahead and read that with you guys. Okay, wait, I, before we get into that, I'm gonna include a clip of, um, for those who don't know, CultureCon, creator space type event for creators. And so they they do it every year. And this year, I wanna say this one, well, it was in New York. Yeah, it was in New York. It's always in New York. There are times they do um, do different areas. Like I know they did it in Atlanta. I still haven't gone, y'all, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one day. I'm gonna manifest that because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But anyways, Tyler Williams, I don't know if y'all remember from Everybody Hate Chris. So he was on there and this is what he said. You're gonna miss this time. Everybody romanticizes getting to the place, but the one thing that everyone ends up saying when they get there is they miss this time right here. There's so many options, things to play with and try. You can try anything right now and fail and it's fine. 
if we try something and fail, it's everywhere. You know what I mean? Like there's something so beautiful about this. So don't, don't miss the blessing that is right now trying to get to where you're trying to get to. Try everything. Fail at everything, learn from everything, take everything in. Because once you cross that line and the stakes get high, they never go back down. So enjoy this time if you can. Hearing him say that really touched my heart because I know like I have a bunch of dreams and I have a bunch of goals and I have things that I know I want to get done. Okay, honey, I know there's a lot of things that I want to get done and I want to accomplish and oftentimes just speaking for myself oftentimes i do get in this like i want to be there 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 however this past year i just been praying to god to fix my heart posture like make sure that my heart posture is in the same place as it was before like i'm always 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 constantly praying that um, and to enjoy, and for me to also enjoy these moments. Me and my husband, we talk about this all the time. I'm like, babe, do you realize the minute something pop off, like, this won't be the same. Like, we may not be able to go into grocery stores just casually anymore. Like, certain things like that. Like, I'm just like, wow, being in entertainment, that world is a whole nother world. And so just hearing him say that just really, like, wow yep you're right okay god i'm gonna just chill relax and just enjoy this time like really that's all i've been doing this entire year enjoying this time as much as i can but anyways let's get into this topic the purpose of me having y'all read this is because isaiah 40 31 offers like this incredible incredible encouragement to those who are weary and exhausted because i'm not gonna lie those waiting seasons who lord and of course we're all pretty familiar with the waiting season especially when we feel like this season just keeps going on and on and on and i can speak for myself like for the past year and a half i've waited 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 on god to to just make a next move in my career like god what do you want me to do next and how do you want me to do it and where do you want me to go and sometimes i know i've been this entire year i've been hearing god however it's just been like come on god how much longer like y'all ever have those moments where you're like god how much longer do i have to keep doing this like it's a, it's getting very much ghetto out here and I'm two seconds to fight somebody <laughs> like <laughs> not literally but like it's just like God what is going on like I ever just had this woman and be like God what is going on Lord what 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 is it what is it how much longer do I have to go through this the Bible constantly give us guidance and that's the thing that I'm like I know y'all probably hear me say y'all read your Bible read your Bible baby because it will give you guidance especially when you feel like you don't hear god you don't know where to go baby open that bible he will show you exactly what he wants you to see and he will speak to you in those verses it's not about getting what we want when we want it when we want it but about aligning ourselves with his will and receiving his strength during the process so for anyone who may be feeling weary in this waiting season i am praying for y'all um god sees you and his promises continue to strengthen you and that's what i will continue to pray for i say that because during that waiting season i know god has taught me so much during this waiting season that being said your girl got a full time position Y'all, I literally have been like trying not to cry all day. My eyes swinging and watering. I've been excited. Even during this waiting season, I've been excited for what God is going to do. Because I'm like, all these jobs I apply to, no, no, no. You're either overqualified, I need certain different type of licensing. And it's just like, or I need to live here. It was just always something. And it's like, you know what, God? I'm going to keep trusting you. Like, clearly you, you've you been providing, you know? And so I love that. That's what I love about God. He just, it sucks. I ain't going to let you do suck sometimes in those waiting seasons. But he constantly, constantly, constantly show us why we why he had us wait for certain things because maybe had i not had 
had I still had the job, I probably would have still been dependent on the job. And that's why I tell people now, baby, the Lord, like I said, the Lord will take something in a heartbeat if you feel like you're doing too much of that and not of him. Make sure y'all reading y'all word. Because <laughs> God is a jealous God. So if you mess around doing something that he you doing too much of and you're not reading his word and you're not going to church. And that's why even now I tell God, like, now I'm rambling, but <laughs> even now I always tell God, like, whatever it is that's that's taking the distraction from you, Lord, take it away, God. Just because I need to be focused on you. And so, um, yeah, y'all. So, I'm a, actually, I need to wash my hair because I also need to film. So, speaking of film, I need to make a list. Um... I need to make a list of stuff that I need to get recorded, edited, and posted. I love y'all. I hope you guys have, are having an awesome day. And I will catch you guys later. Bye. Take care, though. You too.